hello guys welcome to easy math and circuits in this video we'll be doing conversion from decimal otherwise known as base 10 to other bases before we start our conversion proper let us do a, a quick reminder of our knowledge of significant figures for example let's say we have 25 the digit with the highest significance here is 2 which is our most significant digit. If we have 75, the digit with the highest significance here is 7, which is our most significant digit. If we have 150, the digit with the highest significance here is 1, which is our most significant digit. Now let's go to our conversion. First example. Let's say we have 27 in base 10 to be converted to binary. Binary is equivalent to base 2. So that means we are converting 27 from base 10 to base 2. To convert any number from base 10 to any other base, you divide your decimal number, which is 27 in this case, by the value of the new number you are the new number base you are converting to so to convert 27 now in base 10 to base 2 we do a continuous division of our number by base 2 in this case 27 divided by 2 we have 13 and to be remaining 1 13 divided by 2 we have 6 remainder 1 6 again divided by 2 we have 3 remainder 0 3 divided by 2 we have 1 remainder 1 1 again divided by 2 it's not possible then we we'll replace our 1 with 0 here and we we'll bring down the 1 here our new value in base 2 will be written from the bottom up, being that our 1 here is our most significant digit. Therefore, we will write a number from the bottom up. Then, therefore, 27 in base 10 is equal to 1, 1. 0, 1, 1 in base 2. Let's do another example. Convert 30 in base 10 to base 4. As we know, as we did in our first example, we divide our number, the decimal number, by the value of the base we are converted to, which is 4 in this case. Therefore, we, div we continuously divide our 30 here by 4. 30 divided by 4, we have 7. And it will be meaning 2. 7 divided by 4 again, we have 1. We mean the 3. 1 divided by 4, that's not possible, so we replace our 1 with 0 here, and we bring down this 1 here. As we said, the last digit here is our most significant digit. That means we'll be writing our new value from the bottom up. Then our 30 in base 10 is equal to 1, 3, 2, in base 4 1, 3, 2 in base 4 very simple let's do another example let's convert 127 let's convert 127 in base 10 to a number in base 5. Before we start this example, give this video a thumbs up 
give it a like and then click on the subscribe button at the bottom there it's free so to convert 127 now 127 to base 5 we continuously divide our 127 by 5 127 over 5 we have 25 remainder 2 25 divided by 5 we have 5 remainder 0 5 divided by 5 once again we have 1 remainder 0 1 divided by 5 is not possible therefore we replace it with 0 and we bring down our 1 here our 1 here is our most significant digit that means we start writing our number from the bottom up therefore 127 in base 10 is equal to 1002 in base 5 one more example let's convert 120 in base 10 to a number in base 8 this 8 is also known as octa to convert 120 from base 10 to base 8 we continuously divide our 120 by the value of our base which is 8 120 over 8 we have 15 remainder 0 15 over 8 here we have 1 remainder 7 our 1 divided by 8 that is not possible therefore we place our 1 here with 0 and we break down our 1 here the 1 here is the most significant digit therefore we start writing our value from the bottom up and then therefore 1 sorry therefore 120 in base 10 is equal to 170 in base 8 very easy don't forget to give this video a like and click on the subscribe button in our today's edition of do it yourself convert 95 in base 10 to a number in base 5. Another one convert 150 in base 10 to a number in base 9. As I said earlier, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button. In our next video, we'll be doing conversion from other bases to decimal thank you